Welcome back guys, VST here at SPC Tech. And by the way, if you didn't really watch my 10-bit log video shot on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, please do. I really put a lot of efforts. But guys, there's the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And I sometimes we just try to forget that there is the S Pen here and it's a very powerful tool, guys. So just now I discovered that uh, the great pen application received an update, guys. So pen up is a tool that you can use to color pictures and to just have fun. And, and it's bigger than this. It's a real creative tool and pretty good a new version. And this time Samsung did a proper change log. And you know my motive, guys, every time there is a Samsung stock application with a change log, I have to review it, right? Because they're not so great at doing change logs. What is new? Photo reference, time lapse, smart coloring, canvas size, user settings, canvas ratio and angle reset. Each brush remembers the color used previously. Partial image safe, circular selection mode, and really feels like a lot of things, guys. This version is 391138 from the 11th of May almost 37 megabytes guys so i've updated it okay and i've loaded here something uh, probably just start from the beginning so that you just know how i did this but this is really one of the things that i shot so how did i get to here guys photo drawing all right select from gallery i am just opening my super mario because i really love it so much and from here guys i can just try to use any of the sketch filters. So let's say this time I'm gonna go with this one. So now guys, once that's done, let me dive inside and show you the new things because they are here guys. You know One UI and you know Samsung. Every time there is a new feature, they're putting this funny little red dot and we are all about funny little red dots because they mean new things so buckle up sub for the channel if you aren't ready and if you're the first time guys yeah i do also other content i tried to recently engage with some videography and i know it's lame but yeah just just take a look shot on the xiaomi turn guys it is 10-bit log video color graded um in uh, adobe premiere pro shot with this beast here the 13 ultra but okay focus back on S Pen. So this here is the standard S Pen setup, guys. You can start with a picture like I did, or you can just go back and just choose one ready preset and start to color it. But once you're here, guys, you have a tons of brushes. So apparently you can just go choose the color, right? And then of course, also guys, try to change also the size of the brush. And you have so many brushes, guys, right? And you can, it's really, I mean, working with S Pen in the S23 Ultra is not really like on the S22 Ultra. This really feels so real. But forget about this, guys. Let's just focus on the new stuff. And there are plenty in this time. So one thing that is new is called reference. And we're gonna see my honest reaction because I'm not doing this off camera. I'm just gonna do this together with you on camera. So clicking on reference, signing to use reference. All right. So let me just sign up with my Samsung account and let's just see what this thing is. This is supposed to be a photo reference. This account isn't registered with PenUp, so I guess I need to sign up. I hope that's a good thing. So let me just see what is gonna happen. I'm just going to continue. All right, aha, now I get it. Let me just put the VST username, okay. Maybe it's already taken, maybe not. No, it's there, all right. Well, let me now retry, guys. I'm gonna click here and choose reference. All right, one more time. So apparently reference is just getting you this little tiny screen much in a pop-up mode, which we already know. And you know what, <laughs> let me take a picture. Okay, not of myself, of course, I'm not so beautiful. Let me take a picture of these headphones, all right? I'm just gonna press okay there. So what is this, guys? Since you're able just to do a photo and just use it as a reference, uh, okay, probably do another one. So I'm just gonna go back and use something from my gallery. Actually, let's use this moon, again shot by me. Aha, uh -huh. all right. I think I got it. The idea really is for you to somehow create a photo reference. I'm not sure of what exactly is uh, the point of this, but it's there and it's one of the new features. So photo reference, I guess probably you taking some fresh moments while you're having fun coloring. Some people really spend days. I have actually a friend of mine, Jack, if you're watching, hi. This guy is so good with the brush, with the S Pen. He's really a uh, true digital artist. Okay, but what is the new thing, guys? The other new thing is called save as image. Okay, that's new. So apparently when you press save as image, we have the option to go with PNG, which is good because then hopefully this will preserve the transparency. And you have the free option to select the size, one to one, three to two. Uh, this is the aspect ratio. Then also 
use the JPEG option, guys. Oh, and you can also turn the picture like around, up and down, horizontal and vertical. So you have plenty of options. So this is actually a very nice addition. And then the other new thing, guys, here is called time lapse. What the heck is time lapse? All right, it did record something. Oh, well, I think I got it, guys. So time lapse. Oh, wait. Perhaps time lapse gives you the option to just draw for hours and record a time lapse. And oh my God, this is going to be such a huge relief. There are really some content creators that are just aimed at doing things like this. Like really, you know, they spend hours and probably even days creating figures from mold or from some other stuff. So this time lapse for people that are using S Pen as a content creation and also as an artist tool, this is going to be some good thing. Okay, let me just stop it. All right, let me just stop it. Let me just <laughs> save your recording. So I was right, see? All my drawings, guys, in a time lapse. One guy, really love you, man. This is really good. Okay, I'm gonna save it. It's interesting to see what is the format of the time lapse. Is this a jive or something? Let me just check. I'm gonna go back to the gallery and just try to see the formatting. It's probably gonna be. No? Hey, it's an MP4 file, guys. MP4 files, 16 FPS, H264. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is really great. I mean, this is really already getting so good, guys. I myself am not a big artist with the S Pen whatsoever, with drawing, right? I'm more into music and lately photos and videos. Again, really an amateur, but it's good that things like this are here. Then we have also something called smart coloring. And this is something I want to explore. Like, what is smart coloring, guys? Let's now go and choose a ready preset. Uh, let's just, this one, this one looks nice. Start coloring. To draw using only your S Pen, turn off finger drawing in settings. All right, then let's go to the settings, guys. Settings here, finger drawing, which actually means that we, oh my God, even if you have, let's say the S23 plus or the S23, I mean, you're still able to do coloring. Of course, you're not gonna get these fine nitty gritty details, but guys, there is the option for you to choose finger drawing. But if you wanna use the S Pen only, then we need to disable finger drawing. And there is this new, and there are these two new options, smart coloring, detect lines to make your brushes only paint inside lines, and then brushes remember color. So each brush remembers the color you set. I'm going to now choose both guys, and I'll just actually try to do so. So um, let me just use that one, and for a, or probably this one, and then for a change, let's just try to pick a better color. So let's pick this one. So, okay, let me just, no. Smart coloring is on. <laughs> it works, guys. OMG. This is so fun, by the way. See, if I will disable it, I'll draw everywhere. But with smart coloring, guys, this here is amazing. Oh my God, guys. This here is really an amazing feature. Like this time, if you watch this video, and if I put the title Amazing New Features, this is not gonna be clickbait like we always see on YouTube, guys. So this is indeed, see here, the options, right? This is indeed very smart. And by the way, so the brush should remember your last color. So let's remember now, I'm using the little color. I'm gonna go here, guys. And this brush will now have a different color. But when I go to the previous brush, which was this one, boom, my color is still remembered. And actually this is quite nice. So I have the smart color. Okay, I'm gonna change it right now. I just try to color the boots as well. Uh, let's just make some red boots. Oh my God, I mean, you can understand uh, the uh, possible art that you're able to do. Can we also do that here? We can. So with these two options, guys, you will kind of elevate your lame skills. If of course, lame, my skills are lame, so <laughs> no offense. But if you are into drawing, then this will certainly elevate what you do. Often I find myself browsing, guys, and I'm just thinking like, oh, there are so many great gifted people artists out there it's really amazing but okay now let's just try to uh, get another photo so i'm gonna again go back to my favorite mario so let's just check mario right now i'm just not gonna use any sketches okay done mario is here guys let me try to draw something over mario's face i'm just gonna make mario very very angry Mario movie is performing well, but despite Mario is angry. So guys, now here we have the selection tool. We have the lasso, the rectangle and the circle. Let's use the lasso because it's very cool and you can just do a custom thing. So let me now select Mario's face, guys, and I can actually cut copy and I can even move. 
<laughs> move it from here, right? So partial select, guys. And now the only final option that is left for us to review is this partial image save. But I think that's quite clear, guys. When you click here, guys, and you press save, you can save it as an artwork in drafts. And you can also save it as an image, guys. So I guess that this partial save is just probably your saving that part of it. So right now, if I'm to go in the gallery, right, one more time. Oh, I need to get better with my S Pen, guys. Here, boom. Partially saved with a partial selection. I really think this is a great update for the pen up, guys. So this time, this is indeed and truly an amazing update for the pen up. So if you have the S Pen, go download, test it. If you don't have it, guys, if you have your finger pen, go download it and test it. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe. VST over and bye.